Hi, welcome back to the PageFly video tutorial series. In today's video, I will guide you how to change the settings of one page in PageFly. So now I'm in the PageFly page editor. Go ahead to the top right corner and open the page settings. The first thing you will see in page settings is general which includes page details. Here you can see the URL of the page. Remember that you only can change the URL of the regular page, or blog post page. The URL of the home page and password page are fixed. And if you want to change the URL of a product page or collection page, you need to do this in Shopify admin. Now, I will guide you how to change the page type of a page. For example, this page is a regular page. In the page type, click here and you can see a drop down menu. You can change the page from this type to another type. If I want to make this regular page become a home page, I will choose the home page like this. After I click the save button here, this page becomes a home page. If you are in a product page or collection page, the page settings tab is also where you choose products or collections to assign to the page. Click the edit products button and I will change the assigned product of this page. If you are editing a blog post page, you can customize the details of the blog post. These options allow you to show info, tags, or the feature image of the blog post. For example I enable post info, click save. Go ahead and publish the page and on the live view you can see this section is showing info of blog posts that I don't add in the page fly page editor. Back to the page settings. If you want to enable comment form, enable this option. And remember that you also have to enable comment in Shopify admin. To change the page layout, back to page setting, below themes section, you can show or hide the header and footer of a page. If you are editing a password page, the header and footer are hidden by default. You can see the storefront password option and here you can enable or disable the storefront password on your store. Finally we have page optimization. Here you can enable the lazy load feature on a page. This is the end of the video tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel to get more new video tutorials. These are other videos on our channel you also may need. Thanks for watching.